Today, KRK officially kicked off our newest initiative, Saving Our Generation. It's our commitment to you to raise awareness about addiction, educate, and try and save lives. We'll share stories of hope, resources available to you, and how our state and country are working to end this epidemic. But most importantly, it serves as a reminder that you are not alone. For so many people who become addicted to drugs, there are often two results, jail or death. Thankfully, many others recover and live a life of sobriety. Sometimes, though, it takes losing everything to get there. For one Arkansas man, it's not what he lost. Instead, it's what he gained that changed his life forever. Love the shirt. Thank you. Everybody else hates it. It's easy to see why 28-year-old Kyle Thompson is so likable. Pull up a chair, bro. He's easygoing. A little in-between chair sip. Funny. And simply put, loves life. I'm super grateful for it because I don't, I don't deserve it at all. That's because the road to get here. I should either be dead or in prison for the rest of my life. Has been anything but easy. How many times have you overdosed? Well, well over 15 to 20 times. Since he was a kid, Kyle struggled with addiction and a life of crime. A cycle he couldn't seem to find his way out of. I had gotten so tired of my reality. Um, that I wanted to do anything that I possibly could to change it. In October of 2021, a fentanyl overdose that should have taken his life instead took his legs. And I had slumped forward, so my he I was sitting on top of my legs, and I laid like that for 13 hours by myself before somebody found me. I, uh, man, I really just... I thought my life was over. But what many would see as an awakening instead propelled Kyle even deeper into his addiction. I thought, uh, how am I going to be, how am I going to raise my son? How's my son going to feel when his dad's in a wheelchair? In my brain, now I have a, I have a concrete excuse to get high. Self-confidence, self-esteem, uh, everything gone immediately. It wasn't until a year later that Kyle finally hit his rock bottom. I've successfully pushed away um, loved ones uh, as far as I could get them. It was me, the shame, the regret, the guilt, uh, and my drugs. I had the breakthrough moment. I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm going to try it somebody else's way. That alternate path led him to the Nehemiah House in Little Rock, a drug and alcohol recovery program for men, where Kyle has spent the last several months focusing on his sobriety. I've done some really, some tough things here. Um, and I've done, I've had some of the best moments I've had in recovery here. He mans the front desk, serving as an inspiration to those walking through the door for the first time. You can't just miss his heart, man. He's got the biggest heart, especially for people, uh, for these other men and, and people that are in recovery. Do you have a good email address? Discovering each day the joys a life of sobriety holds. <laughs> and the benefits of not having legs. I don't ever have to clip my toenails again. Like, I'll never <laughs> crease another shoe ever. Taking on new challenges, both physical there you go. and mental. What do you do to make sure that you don't go back down that path again? I just do the best I can um, with the tools that I've been given. But the real change isn't on the outside. It's what you can't see. I thought that there was no, like, hope. That's the biggest change of all. There's always hope. There is always hope. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction or you want to learn more about what resources are available, we have a section dedicated to this on our website, krk.com slash saving our generation. That's AR generation. There you'll find information on addiction, numbers to call for help, and how to cope if a loved one is struggling. The most important thing to remember, you are not alone.